Andrew McGann in Las Vegas, Nevada here at the Amateur IMMAF World Championships. Standing alongside the Sheehan brothers, I have to say this is the first time for me. I feel a little bit closed in here, a little bit intimidated by Matthew with his beard and James with no beard, Sheehan. Two impressive performances today from the lads. Two decisions? Uh, two yeah, unanimous two, decisions yeah. or split decisions? Unanimous. Um, unanimous, unanimous. I have to say, it's hard enough to be able to follow Irish MMA shows, but when there's one guy in one cage, one guy in another cage, and another one about to come in in the other, it's, it's brilliant. We'll start with you. How are you finding it? Good uh, grinding out performance today. It just seemed like grappling exchanges from what I did see of it, you were dominating completely. Yeah, it was good now, because uh, it's been over, for, well, I fought yesterday, but previously that was over four years, I had a break from the sport. So yesterday, I was very rusty. But the opponent was that he was good, like, but I, I felt I had an edge over him. So I got rear naked choke yesterday. But today, it was a much better opponent. Came at me hard, won the first. And then uh, I, f I felt him fade at the end of the first. And then, as you said, pushed the grappling exchanges yeah. and uh, dominated from there. Beautiful. And then for James, for, did you compete yesterday as well? I'm uh, sorry, I was no, in transit. I got, I got you a were, boy yesterday. So, a couple uh, of Irish guys have been having buys. Did you have a buy because... Um, just the way the division was done, or just did the guy miss weight or something? Random, to be honest. Like it suited me because, like yesterday, you kind of got a feel for like what was going, what was going on, like what time you kind of had to be down here and warm ups and stuff. So I, I didn't mind, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I got the win today. Anyway, yeah. so. And then talk about it today. Very similar enough performance from what I saw from running back and forth, grappling exchanges seemed to be your thing completely there. Uh, yeah, like to be honest. I'm fighting very underweight against bigger lads, so I thought he was going to be a lot stronger than what he actually was. Like I'm nearly seven kg under what you can be, yeah. and um, I found like in the exchanges he wasn't as strong as he as he looked, and he kind of faded after the first round. And after that, I didn't feel in danger at all during the fight, so I was just happy with the form. I could have done a bit better with my striking. Could have, I felt I could have finished him, but. Um, Sure. Uh, see what happens tomorrow. Anyway. One thing I just want to ask on that before I jump back to you, it seem, and maybe this applies to you as well. Irish guys in particular seem to be fighting at really comfortable weight classes for themselves. There's not a lot of weight cutting going on. I, I think, don't think. Yeah, I think not pointing fingers. A lot of like the Eastern Bloc countries are. You see lads are out running in like the 40 de degree heat, yeah. like in cutting weight, and surely the whole ethos of amateur is supposed to be to get as much fights and experience because if you're going to go pro. You're 0 0. It doesn't matter if you're the world champ, 40 and 0, or if you lost. So, both myself and James are fighting quite light. I think with all my clothes on and everything, I was like 91 or 90 for 93 today, you know. So, yeah. both of us are weighing in with our runners on, but you're better off. Fight the best and fight at your comfortable body weight so you're being healthy and see where you're at, you know. Yeah. I'm not really for this, especially in a same day weighing tournament. There's no need to be cutting weight. There's lads shaving it. Even one lad this morning even missed weight. Stupid, he flew all yeah. the way to Vegas just miss weight for what, like for half a kilo on an opponent. It is a bit silly. Uh, I saw, I've seen those guys like running around the place. I've seen guys missing weight today already as well. For you who is seven kilos underweight, do you think it'll be a factor later on in the tournament or are you happy? Um, there's advantages and disadvantages. Like um, I felt I was faster than the guy. Um, I don't know if other competitors will be stronger than me, but um, I'll have advantages. Like, I, I might be stronger. I feel I'm confident in my striking. I'm confident in my chin taking the harder punches anyway, but uh, it worked out today anyway, so we'll just see what happens tomorrow. I had to say one thing before you both go, Andy Ryan is a great man here at getting free, uh, no, I don't want to say getting free stuff, but he always uh, seems to have new club some, apparel every couple of weeks, stuff, yeah. every couple of <laughs> weeks, Team Rhino have new t-shirts. Like, there new socks or something, or there was always new Gucci stuff he always got us. Yeah, no, I have to say, this is a, I'm, I'm a big fan of these, these tops, oh, don't say that. Um, no, I'm a big fan of these. Let me just one more thing. You're going to be fighting again tomorrow, and then um, hopefully onto Friday and onto Sunday as well. What's the best? Like, is this just I'm here to win gold? I'm here because this is a phenomenal experience. I know you've been out of the sport for a while. Yeah. For you, is this testing the waters back, and then we're going full steam when yeah, we get home? I, I literally couldn't get a domestic fight. There was no fights going, so this was offered to me, and I said, "Why not?" I felt fit. I, I obviously I hadn't got the fight experience, but I felt fit, and here I am. Yeah. But uh, it's phenomenal. I, even you can see now. Between ourselves and the Northern Irish team, the one thing I've noticed throughout the way is the fitness levels. Is we're in only an island, of, uh, an island of four million people, but the fitness levels. A lot of close fights, lads are from other countries are fading late, and we're growing into fights, and that's why I won mine. And that's why a lot of lads are winning theirs. I think we put ourselves down. I think we're a small island. We're in there knocking with the best, and we're fitter than them as well. And for the younger one, I'm assuming you're the younger one anyway, judging by yeah. these facial features. Um, this is a longer haul for you, I assume. 
I'm not uh, I'm not looking to win this event. I don't I don't care about that. I just want to beat Matthew. So like if he goes out in the next round, I just want to win my next fight, right? Yeah. I don't care about winning. Or who gets so, the top bunk in the apartment, does it? Once uh, yeah. Once I beat Matthew, I don't even care. Like so. <laughs> That's it. Uh, I will we'll see what happens. Like I can't say. Like I haven't seen much about the other competitors, but. Uh, I'm confident anyway that I could I could win it anyway. So. And, if, and, and more than anything, lads, the one thing I've been stressing to all these guys here, for me, it's an absolutely beautiful thing to see guys that have had... I've witnessed some of these guys' first amateur fights. Yeah. And now they're putting people away in the amateur oh, world championships. You're working there. Oh. A, an absolute phenom. And the fact that you are embracing this and following something that you're passionate about, you're out in Las Vegas doing exactly what you love. I have to say, brilliant. it's brilliant to see it from all the Irish teams. Thank you very much. Thanks, bud. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hopefully uh, the first of many interviews to come this week and in the future. Hello to everyone at home. Hello to everyone at home. And Except I promised, Stephen Lowry. I promised, right, I promised years ago when I trained in Kogo that if I ever got an interview, I'd say, give a shout-out to Kogo. So shout-out to Kogo, but as well, shout-out to Team Rhino because this is, where, this is where they got me. Exactly.